Well, here we are. 10 o'clock. Putting the day to bed. Before we put ourselves to bed. And with that in mind, let's come before the Lord. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so, a moment to reflect on the day. And so we say, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our reading tonight, Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But I know the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I called upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say who will show us any good. Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. For you have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you only, Lord, who makes me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 15 Thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be saved, In quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing.
save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Oh, your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Sorry, I got lost in wonder, love and praise. So here we are, we think of all this day has been, and as we come to lay the day to rest, I like us to think about blessings. I'd like us to reflect on the blessings within and around and before us. The blessings given and taken. And so we take a moment just to invite the Lord's presence to bring some more stillness perhaps to help us to focus to think, to reflect. Father, as we come to end this day, as we come to lay all at your feet, Lord, we, we come and think of the blessings, perhaps the old hymn, count your blessings one by one. Father God, as we come to the close of this day, we thank you for every blessing that we have received this day. Lord, as we ponder those blessings given to us this day, help us to rejoice in the actions, in the things, in the feeling and in those who gave those blessings, who made them happen. Father, help us to Reflect on those blessings now. Lord, as we think of those blessings, perhaps we find ourselves smiling. Perhaps we find the cares of the day fall from our shoulders as the weight is lifted and we think of people we've met. The blessing that was even found in, for me, going to Lidl with Wendy, just spending time, just being one. Father God, as we think of the blessings of the day, we move our thoughts to all that is within and around us. Some blessings are tinged with pain as we think of the blessing of those we love but see no longer. Some blessings are filled with challenge maybe a little disappointment for the things we failed to do in the sight of them. So Lord, as we think past this day, 
as we think, as we look into our hearts and our lives. Help us to see the wider blessings, the blessings of love and being loved, the blessings of memories when those loved ones are gone perhaps. Father, help us to count all the blessings with gratitude that we've had to help us appreciate how good our life is and that just as the autumn and winter the seasons of cold and dark and rain and snow and everyone calls them gloomy but without the gloom without those things how would we know what spring new growth and the joy of summer was let's give thanks for the wider blessings we've received As we do, we think maybe of the smells, of the tastes, of the things that made blessing real for us. For me, that was made real this last week when somebody bought me a bottle of milk bottles. And opening them, I was taken back to being an eight-year-old child with a quarter of a pound of milk bottles in there white dusty powder and the grandmother who gave them to me her favourites let's think let's cherish the blessings we have the things that stimulate us and help us go to bed this night full of peace and joy So we turn to blessings we have given to others this day. We reflect on the things we have done that have blessed, that have eased strain and stress, brought joy and pleasure, laughter and love. And so we think of the people we have blessed, the people we have showed God's love to, the people we have stood with and for. Lord, as we bring to mind those for whom we have been a blessing, we come with gratitude and thanks. Father, we give thanks for the small blessings, for the times when we complain about the house, perhaps, the place we live, and a problem with it. And then, Lord, in doing so, perhaps we fail to see the, the small blessings in the fact that we have a home, that we are our people who have somewhere to lay their heads, that we have water and electricity and food. Each small blessing 
But so many people in this world do not have. Father, as we as we thank you for the the small blessings, the little things that get lost in the things that we make so big in our days. Father, we thank you for the blessing of God's love also. And as we now laying all at the foot of the cross, as we come before the Lord, help us to go to our beds with a smile, with a spring in our step and gratitude for a God who has the plan of taking on flesh, going to the cross, dying and rising for us, that death no longer has fear and that sin has lost its power. We go to bed as conquerors in union with the Father, Son and Holy Spirit and enlivened and empowered by the presence of the Holy Spirit in our life. And so, Lord, we pray, Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the light and life of your church. Open our hearts to the riches of your grace that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. And so as we go to our beds, Thank you for being with us tonight and tomorrow when you wake. Perhaps the first thing you might do is think of the blessings that you have before the pressures of the day come and try to overrun you with needs and distractions and frustrations. The blessings are always there and we seem to miss them so often. Sleep well. May you wake to a blessed and wonderful day tomorrow. Good night.